View the following program in its entirety with Xfinity On Demand by selecting Get Local and choosing All HS Sports. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local. You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Nazareth is um, one of those teams that's one of the most talented teams in the state. They're stacked on the offensive and defensive lines, and their defensive backs and receivers are as good of a, a, as good a group as I've seen uh, at, at the high school level. Um, and then they're coached by Tim Racky, who, uh, who I've known going back to my high school days. It's a great rivalry game every year for us um, since I've been here. This is my 14th season. Coach New and I uh, go way back. We played against each other in high school. But that mutual respect, how he runs his program, how I run my program, um, always makes for a, a great competitive game. For us, it's, you know, mixing up run and pass is key. Um, you know, it's with our offensive line, we, we believe we can, you know, try to establish the run on teams. Um, but we know we have to mix it up and, and, and really do both. Our challenge is going to be establishing a run game uh, Friday night. I think that's the biggest key. And then uh, defensively for us, um, making sure that we can contain them because they're very, they're very smart, uh, very precise. So I think uh, if we can limit our mistakes and play within our schemes, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be okay. Welcome to Lyle, everybody, for the CN100 Game of the Week. Tonight, we are at Benedictine University for a matchup in the East Suburban Catholic Conference. It's Nazareth against Bennett Academy. Welcome, everybody. I'm Jim Blaney, along with Jack McInerney, for two teams that have gotten off to a great start in this high school season, as tonight, we hit the halfway point week number five in Jack for Nazareth. Everything has gone according to plan. They are absolutely rolling. They are the number three ranked team in the Chicagoland area by the Chicago Sun-Times. Well, they've really had a great season thus far. And of course, you know, they're very young, Jim. Last year, they were not expected to do well, but yet they got to the championship game. So this year, they're expecting big things. And actually, their first two ball games were really tough. They played a, a team called Lake Zurich, who we all know about in this area. And they were a runner up last year in the state championship game. And of course, in their very first ball game, they beat a semifinal team from uh, Michigan, or excuse me, from St. Louis. So they've had a tough two games early on. They've done extremely well thus far. And because of their success in recent years, they will play in class 7A this year when we get to the playoffs. Meanwhile, for Bennett, up until last week, they were undefeated. They came in 3-0 and against uh, 3-0 and a week ago against Notre Dame, and Bennett actually dominated most of the game, but lost and dropped to 3-1. and Well, dominated is right. For 38 plays, they held Notre Dame and Niles to 30, or excuse me, 98 yards. That's not bad on defense, but four plays led to 212 yards for Notre Dame, and they lost the ball game. They just Big plays killed them last week. They cannot afford to do it this week. And Nazareth, unfortunately, is a team that has great athletes and tremendous speed. They better slow them down tonight. Still first and goal, but now back at the 11. Look like it might be a, a run. Instead, it's a pass, little screen pass. And it's a touchdown to Diamond Evans from 11 yards out. And Nazareth ups their lead to 13 nothing. Little bubble screen to the short side of the field. Nazareth likes to run into the boundary. Here's your bubble screen coming to the bottom part of your screen right here. A little fake one way. Comes back. Good job at attack of getting out there blocking the safety. And Diamond Evans takes the ball into the end zone. For as a second score. Eighth play of the drive. Second down and five. McCarthy, play fake. Wants to go deep. Doesn't have anything to work with. Chased out of the pocket. And he is brought down at the 38-yard line, second sack of the game by the Red Wing defense, and it was Jack Benish with his third sack of the year. Good job right here by Bennett's coverage downfield. Put the pressure on, keep him in the pocket. Combination of good pressure from the outside defensive ends and also by the uh, secondary for Bennett. Twelfth play of the drive. McCarthy back to pass, has to fire over the middle, has a man wide open, delivers the ball on time and on the money, and going for the corner of the end zone and getting in is Michael Love. A 36-yard scoring play, J.J. McCarthy to Michael Love. Now, Bennett was in a cover two, which means both safeties were right on the hash marks. 
Love got in and settled in the middle of the field. The ball was delivered by McCarthy. He's right in between the hash marks, right there. Right in between the two safeties, and then after that, it's just an athlete making something to happen to get into the end zone. But what a great route, and knowing, having the IQ defensively to know what kind of a situation where he needed to settle on that defense to get open. Fifth different receiver with a catch. McCarthy wants the ball, wants to go downfield again. Stands in, has time, delivers the football, has a man wide open, and it is caught. And it is going to be a 75-yard scoring play for Nazareth Academy. And it's Michael Love with his third touchdown catch of the night. Well, what was interesting about that is Michael Love never hesitated questioning McCarthy's arm. He just kept running that post route, and he was a long way away. He just delivers his football, steps up. You can see he threw the ball at least 50 yards. But Love never slowed down after he beat the defense back. Oftentimes you'll see high school kids, they'll slow down because they think they're out of the arm range of the quarterback. Not in this case. What a great throw and catch. Weimer and Hickey in the game. Hickey trying to sweep left, gets to the outside, and he will go into the end zone. Touchdown, Bennett Academy from 11 yards out. Ben Hickey takes it into the end zone, his third rushing touchdown of the year. Never like to see a team shut out, especially in a situation like this. So that's a good effort. As you heard Pat New at halftime talk about he didn't want any quit in his players, and that certainly is the case right here. Good effort by Hickey getting in the end zone. But a nice drive going down the field by the Red Wings of Bennett. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes, or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local.